So apparently Sony only allow the PS4 to be switched on by a PS4 controller. This is really annoying for those who have invested in a universal remote, especially if you just want to watch a Blu-ray or DVD. So I cobbled together a sort of solution. Um, so I've got an infrared receiver connected to a PC and that uh, runs Event Ghost. Uh, when the infrared receiver and event ghost uh, picks up the command that uh, turns on my AV receiver to the PS4 input, it fires an auto remote message to the Android phone that you can see there below the centre speaker. When the phone receives this message, I'm using Tasker with auto input to launch the remote play app on Android and then click next. And that's enough to get the PS4 to switch on. It then waits for 90 seconds and then closes the remote play app that 90 second delay is necessary because you must give the PS4 time to boot and go past the screen that waits for you to press the PS button on the controller otherwise it will just sit there and the uh, PS4 button on the remote um, uh, doesn't work until, uh, until the uh, remote play app is fully logged in. So as you can see I'm using the Universal remote there, the Harmony, to um, control the PS4. And just zooming in on the phone itself there, um, so you can see that the remote play app is running. And in a few short moments, the app will close. Um, and it's it's obviously doesn't need to be 90 seconds, 90 seconds might be a little bit too long. Uh, but it doesn't really matter, it doesn't, doesn't prevent you from doing anything. Uh, it works nicely. Um, so yeah, that's what I've done to work around this little problem. And there we go, the app is now closed. And I'm still connected to the PS4 with my Universal Remote. Everything's still working nicely.